Bryce Young and CJ Stroud were the top two picks in this past year's NFL draft. And while being friends for quite some time, today we're going to reset them both to 50 overalls. I will put them through a set of challenges and mini games to see who can win the race to being a 99 overall. To help them on their journey, they will have a wheel full of upgrades that they will spend prior to every season. But before the season, I had them compete in their first mini game to see who would get a kickstart with the very first wheel spin. Okay, we have eight reps here. Start us off, Bryce. All right, CJ Stroud, we have eight reps. Let's do this. Things would start off pretty shaky for Bryce. Dude, I cannot do this at all. Bryce would struggle in the beginning. Dude, I am struggling. Whereas CJ was a completely different story. Okay, CJ, way to start us off. And whereas Bryce would have to respond with this. Yes, there we go, Bryce. Oh my God, we barely got that one. However, CJ was dominating this mini game. CJ's throwing some dots. Our high score is 1,900. But on the other side of things, CJ Stroud is... 4,500. Our winner is CJ Stroud by a landslide, which would grant CJ Stroud the first spin of the upgrade wheel. Okay, CJ Stroud, what are we going to get here? Plus five throw power. All right, plus five throw power brings us to a 60 overall and throw power, which now brings us to a 52 overall. And that brings us to the challenges that CJ and Bryce will be facing. And whoever wins and completes the challenge will receive an extra wheel spin. Okay, season one's challenge is going to be whoever Whoever has the most wins. So whoever leads their team the more victories this season will get a wheel spin. And as a sim to midseason, it couldn't have been better timing. Okay, the Texans and the Panthers play each other. Bryce is currently winning the challenge by one game, but this game right here could make things interesting. Okay, who is going to get on the board first? I feel like this is going to be a very low scoring game. As the Panthers put up the first points of the game. Okay, how are we going to respond, CJ Stroud? What are we going to do, sir? And CJ Stroud will respond with the touchdown. Oh, okay, CJ. But Bryce Young would run away with this game shortly after. Dude, Bryce Young is going crazy. Bryce Young takes the dub against CJ Stroud. They both actually played pretty well. I mean, obviously Bryce, you know, took the cake. Throwing for four touchdowns and zero interceptions and having more passing yards. But CJ didn't play too bad either. It was a fire first head-to-head -head matchup. And while the Panthers now have three wins compared to the Texans one, that game would actually decide the fate of challenge one as the Panthers would only have one more victory than the Houston Texans. Wow, that game decided the entire challenge. Because of that, Bryce would get his first wheel spin. All right, Bryce, what are we going to upgrade you with? Plus 10 awareness, plus 5 short throw accuracy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because Bryce Young's pretty short. All right. Uh, no, yeah, that was not funny. And with Bryce getting this plus 5 short throw accuracy, his next wheel spin would be the crazy one. Plus 15 awareness, which would jump his awareness all the way up to 88. Wow, that second wheel spin was crucial for Bryce. Because if he didn't win the challenge, that first wheel spin would have literally been it. He wouldn't have got the plus 15 awareness. This would ultimately bring up Bryce to a 66 overall. It was now time for CJ Stroud's single upgrade. Jackpot! Or so I thought. Oh, dude, that could have put him right back in it. But instead, CJ Stroud would only get plus 10 speed. All right, CJ Stroud up to 83 speed. I don't know how much that's going to help, but as I predicted, he would still be trailing Bryce. All right, 59 overall for CJ Stroud. It's not the end of the world. And as through one season, here's how the current standings are. All right, season two's challenge is going to be most passing yards. Most passing yards between the two gets an extra wheel spin. Am I only throwing for 3,000 yards last season compared to Bryce? Bryce's 3,300. It wouldn't be as close this year. Bryce Young with 1,200 through midseason. Yeah, like I was saying. Okay, CJ Stroud has 36 passing yards. 36! As Bryce Young would win this award pretty easily. All right, Bryce Young, 3,700 yards. I think we'll do CJ Stroud a favor and not even check how many passing yards he finished with. And just like that, Bryce Young will win yet another season challenge. Okay, Bryce Young, what upgrades are we going to get? And this one would actually be pretty solid. Plus five to all throw accuracies. It's actually pretty solid. We'll take it. And with that, his short throw accuracy would be maxed. His medium accuracy would go up to 95. And his deep throw accuracy would go up to 69. All right, this should help Bryce a lot. Especially 69 deep throw accuracy. That's pretty nice. But he still had one more wheel spin. Plus 20 play action. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. As he would raise his play action from an 80 all the way up to a 99. Okay, we are now a 71 overall, Bryce. Not too shabby. Whereas CJ still has 
had some catching up to do. Okay, this is the single upgrade for CJ Stroud. And it looks like we're gonna get plus 15 deep throw accuracy, which is actually pretty nice. And with that, that would nearly max out his deep throw accuracy. And CJ is somehow a 68 overall. So despite only passing for 40 yards this season, he only trails Bryce by three overalls. And with season three's challenge, most passing touchdowns. Honestly, this could go either way. They're both very similar in overalls. And with these two being very close in overall, it would show in this next challenge. All right, CJ would finish this season with 20 touchdowns, but Bryce would edge him out by one touchdown. Bryce with 21 touchdowns to 16 interceptions. Hey, yo, Bryce low-key had a pretty solid year. And a solid year the Panthers would have as well as he would lead them to a 9-8 and eight record, clinching a playoff spot. Hey, the Panthers made the playoffs. They're over 500 too. And with Bryce making his playoff debut at a 74 overall, he would show us all the progress he has made along this journey, leading the Panthers to a wild card victory. 34 to 24. Oh, Bryce, we're moving on. The divisional round would be even more challenging, facing off against the 15 and 2 Dallas Cowboys. Oh, Bryce, this is going to be tough, my man. But he would end up shocking the world while hanging another 30 bomb on the Dallas Cowboys on their own field. The train is still moving, boys. Bryce oh, Young sure. is balling. And balling was an understatement as he would go 20 for 26 with 300 yards and four touchdowns in this game. Dude, Bryce is insane. And with one win away from the Super Bowl, Bryce Young would need his best game yet. Okay, 7 0 against the San Francisco 49ers. Dude, Bryce Young is continuously putting up points, man. Every drive, we're getting some points. Okay, the 49ers kick another field goal, man. We just can't let them score a touchdown. As we do with Bryce, and that would be just enough. Bryce is headed to the Super Bowl. 24 to 16. And with another stellar performance from Bryce, we were now officially Super Bowl bound. The 13 and 4 Baltimore Ravens. They have 98 overall Lamar Jackson. But what they didn't have was a Bryce Young with plus one morale boost. All right, Bryce Young, this is your biggest game of your life. And you have a plus one morale boost, so I think we're ready. As Bryce Young would start off hot, leading us to a seven-point lead, the Ravens would quickly respond with 10 of their own. As he would go back and forth and back and forth until Bryce Young would lead a money drive to send us into OT, but it just wouldn't be enough. Oh, we lose by a touchdown in overtime. Unfortunately, it's just not going to be you hosting the Lombardi. It's going to be Lamar. But this will only add fuel to the fire for Bryce. I see we still have his two-wheel spins to help him reach that 99 overall and potentially hoisting that Lombardi trophy. Plus 10 break sack and jackpot. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. And after these upgrades, they would take Bryce Young to a 93 overall. All right, Bryce is at a 93 overall. This should be his last season. But in case you forgot, CJ Stroud is still in this video as well. Max awareness. Yo, that is huge for CJ's overall. And unfortunately, his awareness was maxed. So I had the choice on spinning it on something else. Yeah, let's max out his throw power. That should definitely help us. And sure what, I see would raise CJ Stroud to an 88 overall. Dude, this is actually so close. The race to 99 overall all comes down to this last season. Essentially, our last season's challenge is going to be whoever throws the least amount of interceptions. So it's going to come down to whoever protects the football. And with CJ Stroud and Bryce Young now making noise in the NFL as elite quarterbacks, it all came down to this final season. But unfortunately, midway, things were not leading the greatest for CJ Stroud. Texans are 0-7. And with having to pass the ball a lot this season, DJ, you are going to have to step it up if you want to win this challenge. But to my surprise, Oh, it's going to come down to the wire. And after sending to the end of the season, I was curious to look at the standings. Okay, the Panthers finished 10 and 7. Whereas on the other side of things, the Texans would finish with the worst record. All right, the Texans are 3 and 14. Let's see what type of weight this holds. All right, CJ Stroud with 12 interceptions. So if Bryce finishes with less than 12, then he wins this challenge. And it all came down to this. Bryce Young with one of the best seasons of the video. Throwing for 30 touchdowns to 5 interceptions. He completes this challenge. And although he would make the playoffs, he would unfortunately get bounced in the wild card round. But that didn't stop us from getting our final upgrades. All right, what is going to be the final two upgrades for Bryce? Plus 10 throw on the run, which would max that stat out for him. But we still had one more. And it's going to be plus 10 awareness, which would also max out that stat for Bryce. Mini, we now finish at a 99 overall. We've finally done it. In case you're curious, CJ would finish this challenge at a 95 overall, but would be shown as a 90 to overall for his minus three morale. CJ, you fought hard, my guy. It was a respectable battle between the two, but Bryce edges out CJ 99 to 95. That's gonna do it for this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. But in case you missed it, check out this video. YouTube wants you to see it and I want you to see it as well. YouTube believes you'll like it and I also believe you will like it as well. So pop it up on the screen right here.